This video describes how to create and edit a user in the Nowforce Dispatcher. To add a new user, open the Users panel and tap the plus icon. The new user management window opens. Fill in all the relevant details required for each user in the system. In the Personal Details tab, you should fill in all the user basic details, such as username and password, so the user can log into the dispatcher or mobile app. Enter the user's full name, phone number, and so on. Mandatory fields are marked with a blue star, and you must fill them in before moving on to the next tab. Please note that username must be unique. In the phone and email sections, add the user phone number and email address. You can add more than one phone number or email by tapping the plus icon. If you want the user to receive relevant notifications, ensure that the alert bell is on. Tap Next to proceed to the Organization tab, where you define the user's organization profile. Permissions profiles are an essential part of the system because they determine the access that each user has to specific functions in the dispatcher and on their mobile devices. In this tab, the permission and the group membership are mandatory fields. Based on the permission you choose, the other user organization settings are enabled or disabled. For instance, for Responder, you can select Group, Roles and Equipment, while for Dispatcher, you can select Group and Control Center only. On the right side of the panel, you can see the number of licenses your organization uses for each permission file. For some permissions, such as Dispatcher, you are required to select a control center to which the dispatcher belongs. Next, associate the user with any relevant groups. Groups are one of the most important features in the system as they affect user management throughout the system. For example, groups enable administrators to create dispatch rules, show users on the map according to their group, create secondary control centers, and so on. Group membership is a mandatory field for each user, regardless the selected permission. Select the groups that this user is a member of. Each user can be a member of multiple groups. On the right side, you can see the name of the control center that is permitted to see the user based on group membership. Next, choose the role of the user, and then any equipment the user has. These are not mandatory fields, but might be helpful when selecting the responder for an incident. Tap Next to proceed to the Mobile Device tab. This tab allows you to see the app type based on the user's permission profile. This option is relevant for mobile app users only. On the right side, you can see the user communication information, such as last communication and location, battery level, app version, and so on. This information is available only after the user's first login. Tap Next to proceed to the Geofence tab. Configure geofencing by creating personal polygons to define areas on the map that are associated with the user. Geofencing can trigger alerts or create certain incident types when a user enters or leaves a personal polygon. Tap Next to proceed to the Contacts tab. This tab shows the user's personal contacts and is used to create new ones, and shows if the user is a specific group contact person. The user's personal contacts are notified by SMS or email when the user activates an SOS call from the mobile application. To add a new contact or search for an existing one, tap Add Contact. Select whether the contact is new or existing and fill in the relevant details accordingly. Tap Next to proceed to the Relationships tab. Here you can associate the user with entities in the organization, such as points of interest, incident types, geofences, and so on. After you create a relationship between the user and one of the organization's entities, the user will receive notifications through SMS or email when relevant actions occur. For example, you can associate the user with a fire incident. Afterward, every time a fire incident is created, 
This user receives an SMS or email notification and is considered one of the incident's assets. Please note that this option is also relevant only for mobile app users. Tap Next to proceed to the Log tab. After the user is created and active, you will be able to see a detailed log of all the user's activities. You can filter the entries by date and specific time. The last tab is Statistics, where you can see the user's availability per month in comparison with the group statistics to which the user belongs. This information is available only after the user starts using the app. To complete the user creation process, tap Finish. To edit an existing user, pause the mouse over the user and tap Edit. The user management window opens and you can edit any parameter. This video described how to create a user in the Now Force Dispatcher. Thank you for watching.